Dallas ISD is kicking off the school year at John Neely Bryan Elementary in East Oak Cliff with a new program hoping to bring up test scores and enrollment on the campus. It's a total community approach to schooling and Fox 4's Deanna Zoga is live with more on this experiment and whether other schools will see something similar. Deanna. Steve DISD says it is possible they would eventually expand this program to other schools. It depends on how this pilot program goes for this school year. Proponents of what's known as this community schools model believe that it will work for DISD, and the district has agreed to give it a shot at one elementary school. You want to help me? Just before the first day of school at John Neely Bryan Elementary in East Oak Cliff, parents are getting a preview of changes on campus. Friday's Meet the Teacher Night doubles as the kickoff to a pilot program aiming to turn around test scores and falling enrollment. Well, it's based on the concept that a lot of our kids are coming to school with uh, challenges that aren't necessarily about learning. They may be hungry, they may have parents who are unemployed or have gotten deported, um, and those concerns are barriers sometimes to them achieving in the classrooms. Allison Brim, part of the nonprofit Texas Organizing Project and a DISD parent, says the school would help arrange for counseling, health care, even transportation to appointments. There's also a shift in discipline, eliminating suspensions or using them only as a last resort. We want to see if that student has some uh, social needs that are not being met, then of course that student would tend to exhibit some uh, negative behaviors in the classroom that would impede learning. When they're suspended, they're not here, and we always want our students here. DISD says the program has been in the works for a year now. Initially, Paul Lawrence Dunbar Learning Center in the Fair Park neighborhood was selected. But this summer, DISD said John Neely Bryan is a better fit. It's also one of 24 DISD schools identified by the TEA as a turnaround campus, rated improvement required for two consecutive years. Y'all in the same class. Yes. <laughs> a factor parent Adrian Easter says got her on board with trying something new as her son heads to the second grade and her daughter to pre-K. Doing the same thing wasn't working. We needed to do something new to support our kids, try to build them back up. And the school principal announced this evening that the campus grades, the scorecard was just in uh, the results from the latest test scores that show that it did meet standards this last school year. So the school says that it is improving, that it hopes that this program would just shore up some of that turnaround. Back to you, Steve. Got it. Deanna, you mentioned the school will help with health care, counseling, even transportation. DISD had to cut 260 jobs to make its 2016 budget. Who's paying for the school, the program? Well, the folks behind the program say they're still tallying up the cost because it is just getting started, but there is a cost to the district. For example, this school in particular is adding a full-time position. This is a salary position, someone who's a coordinator who will work to, to meet, match students with some of those social service needs and make those arrangements that we talked about in the stories. They do have that. They also have some technical assistance that they're paying for, but otherwise they say that this coordinator would also work with nonprofits and some other existing programs to encourage students to take advantage of them and, and then follow up to make sure that they are. Okay. Back to you. All right. Deanna Zoga, thanks.